So you want to know some top tools for AI art. We're going to be looking at the top tools, not only for creating AI art, but improving your AI art. So today we're going to get started by going straight to what are the top AI art platforms. And we've got three platforms to start off with. One, of course, is DALI or DALI 2. It has an impressive platform and interface which allows you to create some cool imagery, but also a lot of cool tools like the in-painting and out-painting and just a lot of really, really nifty features to sort of improve AI art even after you've made your first generation. There is a link to that in the description below along with all the other tools in this list. The next one is Midjourney. Midjourney, it takes a little bit more to get signed up because once you've signed up, you also have to use their Discord server. However, a lot of good features within the Discord server, but the artwork at the moment, at least in the recording of this video, is insanely good. And in my opinion, probably the best out there. Midjourney, it has a different art style to the others as well, and they're all a little unique in their own way. The third is Stable Diffusion. Now, Stable Diffusion is also really cool because you can actually install Stable Diffusion on your home computer. The only problem is it does chew a lot of power and there's a bit of a process to doing it. I found a video not long showcasing how to actually do that, so I'll pop a link to that in the description below. So you can actually also try Stable Diffusion, a little demo of it over at huggingface.com. I'll pop a link to that also in the description below, and you can still have a play with Stable Diffusion and see what you think about that. The next tool is uh, we're going to start looking at things to improve your AI art. And one thing that happens is quite often AI art sort of messes up faces and doesn't do a good job. So GFP GAN is a great tool for fixing faces made with AI art. And uh, it just sort of has a nice AI uh, sort of AI face fixer. I do recommend checking that out. Links will be in the description below along uh, with a video that I made on how to use those two platform that platform whether you're using hugging face or going straight to the source itself the next one is if you're looking to cut out anything out of your images you can use remove.bg which is an AI image sort of extractor where it cuts out images for you uh, and apparently it does a really good job but as with most AI sort of uh, services that cut people out it's not always gonna hit the nail on the head so you're better off using it trying it and if you don't like it you may have to learn to do that manually with another program and speaking of the other programs is photoshop i highly recommend getting your hands on photoshop their neural filters are improving so they've got some ai art tools but your ability to edit and have freedom of movement while you have while you're working on an ai art image is insane because as you learn and get better at photoshop having that ai art base is a great thing to start with and you can take your images to the next level you can upscale them you can improve them you can change the color you can cut people out you can extend using the you know the fill options there's a lot to be said about photoshop and it's probably the most powerful tool on this list other than the ai art platforms themselves but that really sort of depends on how you define what a powerful tool is now for a bit of fun, you can also try a face animator. Now you can go over to talkingheads.com, once again, link in the description, and you can upload an image and it will sort of discover the facial features on that image. And then you can choose a video or even upload your own video and it will animate and apply the audio to that video. Just something for a bit of fun if that's something you're willing to play with. Next one is print on demand services because it's not actually about improving your AI art, but this is a really big opportunity for AI artists to make a bit of passive income. If the art you create is looking good and you're using these tools to improve it further, you can upscale, upload and sell merchandise, art, t-shirts, mugs or anything you can print image, imagery onto and you can start making passive income because of print on demand, what you do is upload your artwork and the shop pops it onto a photo of a shirt or whatever it is they're printing. Someone buys that item, it then gets printed there as it's ordered and you get your cut on top. So it's a really hands-off passive income model that a lot of AI artists could use that's very easy to start. And the next one is, of course, if you're gonna start doing print on demand, you're gonna to need to start upscaling your inventory. So a few ways you can do that. One is using imagelarger.com. That's a, a very powerful tool. Uh, I've got a video on that, link in the description below as well. It'll, sh it'll actually upscale your artwork uh, pretty powerfully. You can also use GFP GAN, although I don't think it's as good. You can use that simply for upscaling. And there's also the Topaz upscaler software. All of these linked in the description below, but they're all very powerful tools for increasing the size of your imagery. And of course, Photoshop also has one, not quite as powerful as the ones I just mentioned, 
but still very powerful along with a few other options that you can use for upscaling which uh, I'm actually going to be doing a video on that so check out the link in the description below for that also otherwise if there are any tools that you have heard of or are using that weren't listed in this I'm sure there's tons out there so please if you've got tools that you want to share with anyone watching this video please leave a comment below because I would love to learn about those tools myself and uh, yeah anyone we can help sort of to improve their AI artwork greatly appreciated otherwise thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you want more videos like this check out my channel otherwise thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time